Hi guys, today we're going to give you a tutorial on how to follow our signals using the MT4 trading app. A few of the steps may differ if you're using a desktop version, however they should be almost identical. To get started, you'll need to pair your MT4 platform with your trading account by selecting Settings and then logging in to an existing account. Use the search bar to search for the broker you have an account with and enter your login details. These details may have been emailed to you by your broker and your username is often your user ID. Click on Quotes and select the asset mentioned in the signal. You'll then need to click Trade. Here you'll find order types that include instant execution, buy and sell limits and buy and sell stops. A buy or sell limit order can be used to place a trade that will only become active once the market reaches a desired price. Our signals will contain an entry point which we advise you to use as a buy or sell limit. However, if you're trading late, you may want to stick with an instant execution as the markets are always fluctuating and may not reach the entry target for some time. Underneath the order type, you will have the amount of units you're trading. This can seem a little confusing at first, but is actually very simple. 0.01 lots is equal to 1,000 units, or a micro lot. 0.1 lots is equal to 10,000 units, or a mini lot. And 1.0 lots is equal to 100,000 units, or a standard lot. As a beginner trader, you want to keep your trades fairly small. We recommend not risking more than 3% of your balance at a time. If your balance is under £1,000 and you're risking 3%, then your trade amounts should usually be in between 0.01 and 0.1 lots. To gain a better understanding of how much you're risking, please read our Risk Management Guide, which will advise you on how to use position size calculators to accurately determine how many units you should be trading when risking no more than 3% and how much this will equate to in money. Next, you'll need to adjust the stop loss and take profit options to match the signals or to suit your own risk management strategy. Our signals are usually provided with a risk to reward ratio of one to two. This means that the profit you can gain is double the amount you're risking. The stop loss will usually be 30 pips and the take profit will usually be 60 pips but this will depend on the asset we're trading and the market conditions. Again, if you're trading late and the markets have moved massively, then the stop loss and take profit advisories may become invalid. In this case, you may want to use your own stop loss and take profit options. Please ensure you've familiarized yourself with our risk management guide for more information on how to use stop loss and take profits. After you've adjusted the settings accordingly, click sell or buy to execute the trade. If you head over to the Trade tab, you will find all of your open trades. From here, you can manually close or modify any live trades. You'll also find your account information, including your balance and free margin. You may want to close a trade early to cash out on available profits.